Hello world, hello world. Welcome back to my channel, uh, Call Me Biz. Uh, this is an interesting topic. As y'all know, I'm Haitian. I say it all the time, um, I'm Haitian. So this is kind of interesting. Um, and shout out to Jamari. I watch his videos for the news all the time. Um, it's him and DJ Academics I watch. I usually don't do no reactions to stuff like this, but I thought this was real, re really interesting. Um, so I'm, I, I'm gonna watch it with y'all. I usually just watch his videos the minute they drop, but I'm gonna watch this with y'all. And if y'all want me to react to more of his videos i'm not sure how he is about his content being reacted to but I, I will um the topic is this youtuber got kidnapped in haiti because i've been seeing a lot of this um this headline on, on the internet and you know i went straight to jamari for it but uh this is gonna be interesting but look if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button, like the video if you like the video, uh, leave a comment, let me know you were here, no more ghost watching, alright, if you ain't got nothing to say, just be like, I was here, look man, I, I have family in Haiti, so like, Haiti's in an interesting place right now, when I, when I say interesting, I mean it's like, it's like hell right now, so let's go ahead and watch. So there is a YouTuber out there named Your Fellow Arab. He first gained notoriety for streaming and playing games like Fortnite and doing pretty well in their events. You guys may remember that Fortnite Mania was absolutely massive and this guy was on that wave. But a couple of years ago, things changed and he most likely knew he had to pivot as his style of content was dying. I'm basically quitting competitive Fortnite next season, at least taking a year off, seeing how it affects me. So that's when he started doing vlogs and other in real life content while traveling around the world which would in turn parlay into doing in real life streams, which we all know are pretty much the hottest thing in content creation right now. And you guys need to understand when it comes to this internet game, it's rare for lightning to strike twice, but this dude actually managed to revitalize his career in a whole nother genre, which is insanely hard to do. Now, the only problem with this in real life and vlog style content is you feel like you always have to kind of step it up for your audience, do the next craziest thing. Yeah, and around a year ago, he really started to go more extreme and began doing some guerrilla journalism in all these different countries. I met the most wanted kingpin in the Middle East. I snuck inside a terrorist hideout cave. Day one, living with the Mexican cartel. These are just a few of the hard-hitting pieces of content that Arab has been producing, obviously putting all. himself in danger time and time again to do so. And sadly, at this point, it seems like things have actually gotten serious for this man, and all the documenting of gangs and cartels might have put him in a bad place. Because he's now apparently been kidnapped in Haiti by someone named Lanmo Sanjo, who is apparently wanted by the FBI for his violent crimes. Apparently, Arab was traveling with another Canadian journalist, and the two of them were allegedly both kidnapped by a gang there in Haiti while they were supposed to be interviewing their leader. And this is actually how I caught wind of this story, a Keemstar tweet. Apparently, these two guys are somewhat friends or at least associates. I guess he spent 24 hours with him back in the day. And he says Arab was kidnapped in Haiti. He's been missing for two weeks. Prayers, please. Tragic. And that's when I started to do a little <laughs> bit of digging. And apparently this is the last video that Arab shot before he was kidnapped. So we actually cannot leave to Port-au-Prince until the morning because it's already 6 p.m. And if we leave right now, we'll get there while it's dark. It's about a six hour road trip. We'll get there while it's dark and that place is completely run by gangs. So you don't want to be dealing with the gangs even though we have safe passage, we're already approved. All it takes is one stupid gang member holding an AK-47 for one thing to go wrong. So we're not taking that risk at night. We're gonna be leaving at three in the morning. So obviously he understands the risks and the dangers that come with making this type of gang content, especially in other countries. But I guess that's likely also the high that keeps him going. I just really wanted to show you guys the view from this hotel. We are the only people in this entire hotel. Everybody else is workers, employees, etc. because no one's allowed in the country. So there's no tourists here. Okay, other than those Royal Caribbean guys, but I have the entire hotel to myself. Well, that's the thing, guys. It does seem like it's a pretty dire situation in Haiti from social to economic to pretty much any standard you might go by. And at this point, it is not a safe place to travel internationally at all. Look at that view, man. Yeah, I'll tell you. You got the mountain range. Happened. You got the sun setting. Okay, you have entire Cap Haitian over here. And... We've got a pool, which I wasn't going to take advantage of, but 
How many times in your life are you the only person in an entire hotel because the country's completely shut down, no one should be coming in, and you're just a retarded YouTuber? I feel like we gotta take advantage of the pool. And I hope our board did because things are not looking very good for him at this point. People within his circle began to speak out. Arab's editor here, he is currently kidnapped, pray for him. Videos will still be pumped. I will shortly release that last bit of footage of him that was captured in Haiti, which is what we just watched. I'm guessing there's one of his boys, he says, tried keeping it private for two weeks, but it's getting out everywhere now. Yes, Arab has been kidnapped in Haiti and I'm working on getting him home. Love y'all, he'll be out soon. So hopefully that is an indication that this man is alive. They're apparently holding him for ransom, like $600,000 is what they allegedly want in this situation. And it's a little bit eerie that this is the last thing he tweeted out before he got taken away. Imagine all this shit I've done that should have killed me and I die in a car accident. And he was saying this after apparently a terrible head-on-head -head collision. He said, I'd be the biggest pussy of all time. Like scratches, keep moving. And obviously it wasn't the car accident that took him out, but for him to even talk about <laughs> his death comment. or his disappearance mere moments before it happened is pretty strange and pretty eerie. Sneeko is his boy, they've done a lot of streams together, and this was his reaction to the kidnapping. Arab has been kidnapped in Haiti. He's been kidnapped for 15 days. Um, your fellow Arab, the YouTuber, our good friend. So free Arab and, and prayers for Arab. Arab's been kidnapped um, for 15 days. I just saw an article. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I know. Random, random announcement. I know. Am I the only one who feels like that is just a very nonchalant response to one of your boys being kidnapped in a foreign was, country? And you know he's being held like by like a very powerful gang? I also thought this was crazy. In response to Arab's last tweet, this guy says, I would have said the cartel got a hit on you. Don't worry. So just a little bit more foreshadowing there. And apparently this kidnapping has been a pretty big issue over in Haiti. I mean, like huge, you saw Arab say, no one's really huge. traveling there at this point. Last year, about 3,000 people there were reportedly kidnapped. And that's not even to consider all the people who get taken there and are obviously never actually reported. So just explain for us, if you can, uh, Mr. Kearney, why gang violence is on the rise. Is it largely because of the power vacuum since the assassination of the president two years ago? It's certainly a combination of things, one of which being, of course, the power vacuum. The second being the fact that we have a police force that's seriously understaffed. If you compare Haiti as about a little over one police officer for every thousand population, you compare that to any country in the Caribbean, it's closer to three. There's the issue of corruption and the, even the number of serious committed police officers that do play their role effectively are, are hampered and are able to fulfill their task. So it's really an environment where the state is unable to fulfill its duties and requirements and that left an open space for individuals who are ready to, to take up to guns and to you know rule in, in accordance with their interests to take over so it really just sounds like it's an absolutely horrendous situation it is. over in haiti and like ever since their it's leader wild, was assassinated man. a couple years back it's almost like a free-for-all it's just anarchy people are doing whatever they want with no repercussions a nurse that was kidnapped over in haiti actually spoke out about her experience I want you to know that I hold no grudges against you in my heart. That doesn't mean that I agree with what you are doing, especially what you are doing against your own Haitian brothers and sisters. Dorsonville posting her statement on the website El Roy, the nonprofit the New Hampshire nurse and mother was working for at the time of her kidnapping. Wow, so you go out there just trying to do good, trying to help people out. You're working for this nonprofit, and then both this lady and her daughter get kidnapped? You know, it's not the type of story that makes more compassionate people want to go over there. And it's sad because it seems like Arab really felt as though he was turning his life around in a major way. Here in this tweet, it says, It's amazing what a human can achieve in 12 months. In January 2023, I was averaging 15,000 views a YouTube video. In December 2023, I'm doing a million a week. I spent the last 12 months of my life, every dollar I had, and every waking hour building my dreams. Now, the only thing that kind of raises my red flags in this situation, I mean, first off was Sneeko's reaction to this information going public. It was almost like he couldn't really care at all. 
And then this guy says, this is the last message Arab sent me before getting kidnapped in Haiti. You head into the capital. I'm probably interviewing the leader. Barbecue, which is a nickname for this leader. He says, mm-hmm, if I don't get kidnapped before then. So to me, that just seems a little bit too perfect. I mean, I guess in an ideal world, even if he was like looking for some sort of cloud or some sort of big news cycle within this story, that would actually be better than him actually being kidnapped at this point. But y'all let me know what you guys think about all of this down below. Of course, I will continue to keep you updated in this situation, so y'all make sure you subscribe, but this is definitely not the first time that we've seen like this type of YouTuber who's trying to document these extreme things in other countries kind of get lost in the sauce and end up captured by the cartel or captured by some sort of gang. So if this is all true and it's not just some sort of farce, obviously we're going to be wishing for the best when it comes to this guy Arab and hoping for his safe return back home. But either way, y'all know it's been your boy the Tan Superman the and Tan some other Superman. crazy news out here needs to be covered. So I'm yeah, yeah, shout out to Jamari, man. Uh... I, lo I love his videos. He's actually one of my favorite YouTubers, but uh, so y'all y'all go check him out. Anyways, look, uh, Haiti's bad right now. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Actually, I, I I I have people that's telling me not to go. Like, don't go. I still have family members that still go often. I don't know how they do it, <laughs> but uh, but I'm not trying to put nobody's business out there, so I'm not going to say who and do whatever. But, like, I do have family members that still go, but, like, you know, uh, I have people that tell me, nah, don't, 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 don't even do it, don't even do it. Uh, ch chill out. I remember um, at one point, I was getting pictures of what was going on, like, um, certain places in Haiti, like, it will be shut down for weeks. I don't know if y'all remember on my other channel, uh, there, there was a time where I was asking donations to send over there to feed the people, because, like, people couldn't go out to the market, they couldn't go shop, like, the gangs are just, like, going crazy in Haiti. I'm talking about they're going crazy. They are raising hell. They are literally running, running the place, you know, um... They seem to be more like, you know, more compassionate with like the OGs, but man, you don't want to be like a, 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 a you don't want to be a young, able person just walking out, just chilling and, and shit. That, those days are over. The last time I went to Haiti was 2014. Um, and you know, it wasn't, it, it wasn't bad at all. Actually, we had a good time. Um, and the fucked up thing is Haiti is such a beautiful place. That's the most fucked up shit. But like due to the history of Haiti, which a lot of people don't know the history of Haiti and how much weight the history of Haiti have and black Americans don't know, which I'd be shocked when black Americans don't know the history of Haiti. It's crazy to me. But anyways, um, like. It, it, that's a country that's been through literally hell <laughs> like since since the fucking beginning the whole history of haiti is just hell all the way through and with all that you know with all that the people try to be sane and somewhat civilized but after a while it's just like it's just total anarchy and we seen it coming man it, it was always this battle between the government because they're so corrupted and a few families that are just getting bribed by different countries bribed by different leaders they're, they're taking money and they don't give a fuck about the people they just want to you know they just want to make it for their own in their family and, and it's crazy because the most powerful people in haiti are are literally bought out they're sold out uh, you feel me so it's been it's been this it's been like the normal people versus the gangs versus the government and it's like no one could see eye to eye and that's not a place you want to be trust me you think they kidnapping motherfuckers who's coming from america nigga they kidnapping haitians too like they're just kidnapping people because that's that's just that's a big business for them that's how they get that's how they get bread like uh that's that's a big thing and, it, and it's and it's super wild and you know the crazy thing is i hear about this shit every day like sometimes i just turn off my whatsapp like i'm like ah, damn i don't, don't want to keep i'm seeing pictures and i'm telling you i get the worst graphics of this shit so um i don't know why homie thought that would be a good idea to go in, in the lion's den like that where people are literally starving they don't give a fuck about none of that shit you're trying to do <laughs> you feel me uh so hey uh I, if if it's real if it's real um 
good luck to him. Um, I don't wish death on nobody. I don't wish, but but sometimes you just gotta be smart with your life. You see what I'm saying? It's just like that dude that keeps going to uh, where China. I think he got arrested recently doing stupid shit. Like, yo, I know it's great for your views and and, and your whatever, but this is real people's life. So that's why I never, I, I don't even like it when these streamers do that shit in America. Just like, if I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just feel like certain shit, it's hard to feel bad for those people, but the human in you, you're gonna feel bad. I do feel bad for homie. Like, that's, that's a, yeah, that's that's a fucked up way to go out, and I hope he's safe, man. But shit, the 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 situation in Haiti, bro. Like I promise you, this is the least of their worries. The least, <laughs> like no one gives a fuck about this shit on on the grand scheme of things in Haiti. This is this is it's gonna be big because so many people are coming out social media blah 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 eventually i'm sure it's gonna hit the news it's gonna be big you know it's an american or, or whatever but be careful that's that's all i gotta say man be careful and pray for haiti man pray for haiti because there's a lot i want to do over there and and that shit is heartbreaking, man, that it's at this state because it, it's so beautiful. I'm telling you, you will never get closer to the stars. Like, you will never. It's just a, a feeling when you're in the good parts. When it's in, when Haiti's in a good state, bro, like, it, it, just, it just feels so good to be there. You feel me? Think about all these people. They're buying mad land out over there. The Clintons, a lot of these motherfuckers, a lot of these actors, they're buying out all the land from the people, bro. I'm telling you, it's, it's a great place to be. Just not right now. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. And guess what? You better be the peace.